Welcome everybody to Deck Pass Live presented by Xfinity. The racing is almost complete here at the Billingsley Councilman Aquatic Center. It has been so great to be in this historic facility learning all about the history of Indiana swimmers. One of the most historic Indiana swimmers is here with us right now, Lily King. Great to have Hi. you here. How's it going? All how right. <laughs> so how are you feeling after three days of racing? Um, I want to go to bed, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. So. But you're probably going to watch Game of Thrones first, aren't you? No, I'm not old enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's I a love cool it. Lily fashion. Welcome to Deck Pass Live. <laughs> Thanks. Incredible 50, 100 breaststroke. Even your 200 breaststroke, I know you weren't thrilled with yeah, it. Yeah, it's all right. But you have it's to be pretty cool. happy with what you threw down earlier with the 50 and the Yeah, 100. definitely. It was, it was a pretty good weekend. Um, came in with a full week of training, got the crap beat out of me, honestly, earlier this week. And uh, still swimming pretty fast, so it's not, not too bad. Good. So before we talk about all your swimming, I'm just really excited about learning more about your teaching that you've been doing. <laughs> And mostly just the schedule that you have to keep for that because yeah. that's, you know, you're on the, the school time. So yeah. talk about what you just finished with your uh, student teaching gig. Yeah, so um, I've been student teaching for the last semester and then I'll student teach again in the fall. Um, but I was at Bachelor Middle School here in town and I was lucky enough that my advisors and my supervising teacher understood my swim schedule right. and they were very accommodating. And um, I basically did half days of school all day. So I'm kind of like a half time, full time teacher. Uh, on top of swimming, so yeah, I'd go to practice and then I'd go to weights, I'd run home and dry my hair as fast as I could. Wow. to school and come right back to practice. So. What grade did you have? I had middle school, so I had seventh and eighth grade. Seventh and eighth yeah. grade. So yeah. it has to be a pretty exhausting uh, half day. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I was on my feet more than like like all day, pretty much. So. Right. Um, and then just being on all day with all the kids, and but it's, it's so worth it. It's so much fun. Loved it. Is there any particular class that you're teaching, or are you just hanging out with them all day? Uh, I'm teaching PE, so okay. yeah. So I just get I get to wear sweatpants and play games all day. So <laughs> yeah, it's Nothing fun. Wrong with I that. love it. I feel like the yeah. kids would love you. What's the rapport like? I was um, I was pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you know, whenever you're the student teacher, like you're Everybody the college you. kid, like you're pretty cool. Yeah. So I I took advantage of that. For now, sure. did the kids know who you are? Um, they came to figure out who I was. Um, but like my oldest kids were like probably. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, somebody just I'm did not like getting photobombed in his show. She photobombs me all the time, <laughs> vlog bombs me all the time. So now it's my turn. Payback. I would just like to say I wish Lily was my teacher when I was a little kid. Because yeah. she has, I mean, you see how much energy she has on the deck. Yeah. She has so much energy. Like, it takes a special person to be a school teacher with yeah. young kids. You're being and so nice I know. To me. Why am I complimenting her so much right now? But she has that. And I, I mean, I, I admire that. Yeah. Take it. I'm just, no, here you go. This interview. is what it feels like. It's good, right? Hey, good job. Am, good swimming, by the thanks. way. Thanks. I am the star of your vlog, so just <laughs> back off. Bye. Hey, Cody. I yeah. love your relationship that you guys have. Is Cody like a big brother to you? A uh, much, much older, yeah. older, older brother? Yeah, he's yeah. a really old brother. <laughs> Oh man. Is, okay. is there a yeah. lot of trash talking when you guys are training together? Um, we just kind of trash talk each other. We de there's definitely Especially when you, when you were hurt, I trash yeah, talked you. Yeah, it was brutal. <laughs> she would pick at me because like I was incapable of doing things and you know what? Let's let's say so in in our breaststroke group, we do a lot of like kick sets and pull sets. So when you isolate the stroke, Lily gets really good at them. Like mm -hmm. on a kickboard, Lily beats most of our guys, so nice. she does a lot of smack talking. Yeah. And we love it. Like it's encouraged. Okay, like if I'm out. really tired from weights or beat down and she's on, like she can keep up or give me a run for my money. Oh my and that's kind of scary sometimes. This is true. This is happens. she's like, yeah, true story. It's mm -hmm. oh, it's so much fun. And like the trash talking I get to do before the mixed medley relay. Like oh, last night. Oh, oh yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, that's right so your wheelhouse. Satisfying. Oh, I love we it. We had a feeling with Michael going first and you going second, like this relay is gonna be it was hard. It beat. was, yeah, it was pretty dirty. And you dirty enjoyed relay. the mixed medley? I love it. That's yeah. like the only reason I come to the meet. <laughs> That's why I'm here for the mixed medley. I love this. I'm going to retire and swim the mixed medley. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. I would love that. I would love you to do that. That would be so cool. I yeah. want to see your well, hunter brushstroke again. Yeah, that let's go. Okay. We want to talk about this. Let's talk about this hunter brushstroke. That was, a, I mean, it was just a really good swim. Do you want to watch? Yeah. Shoot, me, give me this. I got this. This is your like first NBC practice. Lily's Lily's got this special ability where she can ramp up her tempo right from the get go and still hold water. Also, she looks terrifying behind the box. She looks mean. Like Annie's like trying not to smile. So like it's so funny. I'm not scared of you. Because Annie and Lily are so different. Like they're both hyper competitive, but like Annie's just way more lighthearted, and Lily gets real serious. Like real, real tough. Some days. Look, she just looks mean when she strokes. Look at that. Boom. Oh, yeah. 
and then especially the last like 15 meters where everybody else kind of peels out she just keeps moving forward like she's shooting forward but at that that super high rate I like just don't have that I, w I, w I wish I had that but I, I don't I think it's every breaststroker's dream to be able to close like that I gotta stop complimenting Lily right now I need to get out of here she she already has way too much self-confidence and I'm like boosting it even more right now goodness gracious look at it she just went the fastest time in the world and she's like eh, yeah good job no big deal whatever how did your body feel at the end of that race? Eh, fine. 100 doesn't hurt that bad. Yeah. Um, it doesn't yeah. hurt that bad. No, I'm not 200. <laughs> That's a little too far for me. I'm gonna I am, I'm like money through 150, but the coming home, that's a, that's a little far for me, but that's okay. So Work you have the, the heckler Cody, but then we saw, was yes. that your little brother that was giving you this yes. before you're going on? Yeah. I did not know you had a younger brother. I do, uh, I do. Uh -oh. Yeah, he does. Um, so he's, How does that go down the house? Um, not well. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, neither of our parents went to Big Ten schools, so okay. it's really okay. just the two of us that are um, fighting all the time. Um, Any other siblings? No, that's it. Just that's it. Too. Yeah, but he um, he's actually in their music program, so he's majoring in saxophone performance, and that's like his big thing. So, Incredible. but now he's like fast at swimming all of a sudden, which awesome. he, he wasn't until this year. So, um, it's been <laughs> I, it's been it pretty cool to see. Yeah. <laughs> were you a, were you a nice big sister? I mothered him. Like oh. I was like his mother, <laughs> even though it's we a teacher side of you. Yeah. Uh huh. I like did everything for him, and my parents would yell at me. Like he didn't make his own. Like school lunch until he was in the middle school. Oh my gosh. I'm like, Aww. he can't even, he can't do it. My parents like, yes, he, he can. So. Max That's is going to be super embarrassed now. <laughs> my, kid, no, my big sister, actually, she's my it's mother. <laughs> How'd you like racing in your own pool? Great. I like don't have to think. Um, <laughs> I don't have to bring my suit. I don't have to bring my goggles. Everything. I don't have to warm up in that pool. It's awesome. Like, yeah, I know the walls, you know, like the back of my hand and it's pretty, pretty easy. What are you looking forward to the most this summer? Um, I'm looking forward to going to Singapore for yeah. training camp. Yes, yeah, so. I went there a couple years ago and it's awesome. So um, excited to be there, be back there. And then also back in Guangzhou and I swam there four years ago at WUGS. So um, had, a, had a pretty good meet there four years ago yeah, before, I, be before I kind of came on the scene. So um, it's going to be cool to go back after, I guess, all this craziness has happened to me in the last four years. Yeah, speaking of craziness, I mean, now we, what, two months after NC2A is your professional mm -hmm. swimmer. Yeah. How's that changed your life or life as a swimmer for you? Um, I mean, it's it's just different because I can kind of do whatever I want now. Yeah. Um, but I'm still I like I'm still here training with the college team, and yep. we have such a big pro group now um, that it's like it's not even really that different anymore. So, right. Um, but it is great that I can make money swimming. Yes. Um, and I don't have to ask anybody <laughs> if I can take it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm liking it so far. Good. Yeah. Well, much success to you to come, Thank as you. we know. Yeah, it's gonna be a great. I think it's gonna be a great summer for you. We're really looking I'm forward to it. We'll see. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, Lily. It's been great talking to you. Great success this, at this meet, and um, again, really good good luck to you in South Korea. Thank you. you guys really are so good. nice. Hey, you're so nice. <laughs> we don't That's have to work hard to be before. nice to you. <laughs> uh, Cody, on the other hand, has to work hard. <laughs> we love it. Bit, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right so uh, we're going to be right back. We got a lot more with Deck Pass Live presented by Xfinity, so stay with us. All right. As a kid growing up in the sport, I really struggled with that, and sometimes swimming became a very unhealthy outlet. Um, and to me, now working in the sport, where we have you know uh, rainbow lane line stickers and um, you know diversity inclusion guides, where coaches are being aware of these things, it just makes me think, wow, if I'd had this when I was younger, um, what would my experience in the sport have been like, and how could it have been different? And um, just to know that you know if there's a if there's a, a kid in the LGBT community that is um, you know, swimming right now and, and doesn't know if this is the place for them or if they have a place that content that we're putting out from our headquarters even, um, it's important for them to see that this sport does have a place for them and they do belong here and, um, you know, that the USA Swimming is an inclusive environment. All right, the racing is just about completed. Everybody's kind of filing out. I think everybody really wants to get home to watch Game of Thrones. This is like the most that. anticipated thing. I think everybody's really, I think that's why they're swimming fast tonight. I think if they swim fast, they yes. think the clock's going to hurry up and they can get throne. home to watch who's going to be on the Iron Throne. Yep. Now, I don't watch Game of Thrones. I know everybody's going to hate me for that. So it's not, but 
I, I know that it's a big deal. So I, I know why everybody's kind of rushing out of here. But, uh, you know, it's just really amazing to just see all the camaraderie on deck. Cause, Definitely. You know, I, would, I think that's what I like most about the Tier Pro Series yeah. is it's a low-key meet, so everybody feels a little looser. Right. And, you know, they they don't have a workout on a Saturday. Right. You know, it's a, it, you know, maybe on a Sunday they don't like having to swim. But, you know, like with the Indiana group and, like, Louisville group yeah. and Michigan. It's just lighthearted. It's a very lighthearted. They're having right. fun. They're, you know, they're away for a weekend and just having a lot of fun. Yeah. And I think that translates to swimming fast. Well, yeah, and then there are some Louisville swimmers that had to leave for a, t a teammate's wedding last night. Yeah. Go to the wedding, drove back to the meet last night. Some of them got home at, like, 2 a.m race this morning and then just stepped up and raced a final so they're really putting it to the max here yeah. i think arthur albiero should have just said you know you guys swim all right you don't need to swim sunday i don't know whose decision that was if it was the swimmers who said we'll be back we we'll be back yeah. all right well it's pretty good um so as you know we usually pick a race of the night and we really couldn't pick <laughs> one pick. because there were so many and we just had to pick that women's and men's 200 breaststroke just electric swimming by the two iu post grads we're going to start here with the uh, women's 200 breaststroke. And I think we were both thinking it was just going to be a showdown between Annie Laser and Lily King, the two postgrads who swim stroke for stroke every day. And swim grads, but look at this. 35 years left, Annie Laser has this locked up. Yeah, Annie just had a very commanding lead. She looked so strong. At this point of the race, you really heard the excitement in the crowd. I feel like people were like, oh my gosh, she's really doing something special right now. And it's such a commanding lead against some really fast swimmers with Emily Escobedo and obviously Lily King. Yeah, and you know, when she turned the 150, I was like, she might go a best time here. But here she goes, like really turning into the wall. And she goes 220.8, so a lifetime impressive. best, like I think a second. And look at her, she's kind of shocked. She's like, I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> yeah, I ran I into her real briefly. She's like, I was not expecting that. Yeah, and I love, <laughs> I, yeah, we've had swims like that. We're <laughs> just like, her. what has happened? You can happened? tell, she was not expecting that race. It's so fun to see her on the pool deck. It's so amazing to see how she's just really turned it on recently and yeah. sticking to the sport. And look at that, I love, I love that. It gives me the goosebumps. I literally yeah. just got the goosebumps and I love seeing Emily embracing her and celebrating with her like you were talking about. This is just such a close group of athletes and people that are supporting for each other and rallying around each other. And I just love that about our sport. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think like Annie and Zane both came here from Auburn just looking for just kind of some new opportunities. Wanted to, they knew they had better swims in them. Right. And it took them both about a year right. to really get, really get up behind this. And, of course, you know, when you train with somebody like Cody Miller and Lily King every day, you're, you're bound get to get better. <laughs> and I'm just really impressed by Annie. She's got the Pan Ams this summer. She's going to really be on fire. And I... I really think, actually, Rebecca Sony's American record of 219.5 might so? be in jeopardy. I, I mean, mean, it almost happened tonight. <laughs> she wasn't fully tapered. I mean, I know she's got a little rest, but okay. I think when she's fully tapered, big international meet, she's going to really do something. And, you know, that that's going to send a signal to people like Micah Sumrall, who is right now is probably viewed as a top 200 breaststroker okay. in the United States. Yeah, that's right. And that's going to be a really good Olympic trials next year. So we watch this race in the stands. We're like, oh, that's the race of the night for sure. Yeah. And then Cody Miller gets on the block. He's almost kind of like, all right, my teammate just threw this down. It's yeah. time for my turn to yeah. turn it down. So I was equally as impressed with Cody. He's been on fire. Obviously, the, the fan favorite. He's yeah. going to take over our job here soon. Yeah. Um, but it was pretty impressive the way that he finished up his me um, with this very, real, very impressive 200 meter rush stroke. It was, it was an amazing way he swam it too. Now he has never been as good in the 200 as he is in the 100. He's never even broken 211 before this meet. And when again, when he turned the 150, I'm like, he's gonna go under 210. But I wasn't really sure how this last 50 was gonna kind of feel for him. And he was talking about that earlier. He's like, that last 15 meters really hurt. And you can kind of mm -hmm. see the head kind of really bobbing and he's really trying to get forward. and. Uh, you know, I, like this is where you died. This is where you did it. That's where it happens <laughs> in the 200. <laughs> and you know, when he went 208, I said Cody's now in the mix for the Olympic trials mm -hmm. in the 200 breaststroke, mm -hmm. which most people would have never said. Look at his reaction. But I think he I, he's not celebrating as much as he did in the 100 because it really yeah. does hurt. But when he got out of the pool, he gave a Yahoo <laughs> yeah, too. So yeah, yeah. It's so great to see that. I love seeing people celebrate. You know, sometimes people are kind of like no emotion, and it's so great to you know really embrace the moment and take it in. It doesn't matter what time of the season it is. I mean, like we right. talked about earlier, Cody's overcome some injuries and is just really bounced back, and it's just so amazing to see that smile and see him light up and perfect timing, getting ready, heading into 2020, most definitely. Yeah, I'm so impressed. I'm so happy for Annie and Cody tonight that Great just really I mean, and most of it Cody as we've talked about numerous times he had that big injury to his knees mm -hmm. 
And, and, and as a breaststroker, I know how hard it is to come back from something like that where, you know, if you have like a little knee injury, if you're a backstroker, you can kind of get through it. Right. But breaststrokers rely on knees so much that if, you're, if your knees aren't feeling 100%, you're not going to feel 100% at right. all, and you know that showed at nationals last summer. We didn't swim his best, and it's just so great to see him back. Um, I think he's got a lot of confidence in him, and I think his competitors are um, are realizing that they can't he's take back. Cody for granted. Yep, Cody's back. Yep, Cody's <laughs> back. So um, we had a lot of great races, yes. it, and we were thinking about what our races of the whole meet were. Right. It was hard for me too. Okay. Um, I am a little biased. You are. I love the 100 <laughs> breaststrokes, my event, um, but it just goes back to Cody Miller. That 100 breaststroke just, it shocked me to see it. Um, you know, when he went 59-7 in the prelims, I was like, okay, this is really good. But then he outswam Michael Andrew on this last 50, which is tough to do for, right. with Michael Andrew. That's a good point. And, mm -hmm. You know, he just kept accelerating, accelerating, accelerating. And you know when you feel good there were 15 meters to go, you could just keep on going. And he just accelerated all the way through. And, you know, his lifetime best, I believe, was 58.9. And he went 59.2, but without a full taper. Right. And that's, that's something that, you know, you cannot forget that he did not do a full taper. He did rest a bit. He did shave. But he's got a lot. I think he's got more drops in him. And when he goes to Pan Ams this summer, like with Andy, He's going to be on fire, and he's got something to prove from last summer. Well, and I think, too, this meet was so important for his confidence. You know, I yes. went through some injuries, and I needed a meet like one that Cody just had to get me mentally back into the game, and this meet has had to have done that for Cody. Yes, he's going to go back to workout. <laughs> really, I mean, he's always motivated. You, if you watch him on his vlogs, you know he's kind of – Maybe not the 5:30 a.m. workouts, but he's always excited to get in the pool and do the Smile workouts. And Ray Luz gives some very tough workouts, but he's always excited to do it. And when you got people like Lily, um, kind of maybe egging him on and, <laughs> and pushing him a little bit, he's always excited to do those. Right. But I think there's going to be that extra bit of you know I know I'm back. I'm back to where I was. Let's get this push ahead to Omaha 2020, and then right. fingers crossed Tokyo. Right. Well, you know, you, you were picking your event. You're like, I'm not being biased. And, and when it was my turn to pick my event, <laughs> I didn't want to be biased either. But Ella Easton and her 400 IM, I am just so proud of her. And, and a little similar to Cody, too. I mean, Ella had a disappointing summer two summers in a row. Yes. Um, last summer, she didn't even swim this race because she came down with mono. And the summer before, in 2017, she won a best time, a, a 436.9, but then she ended up getting DQ'd. Yes. So this swim for Ella tonight, this was her fastest swim technically, right? Yes. So she has been a 436.9, like I said before, but tonight she goes a 437.1. And again, kind of an interesting time of the season to be throwing down right. these best times, especially, I have to just tell you, doing a best time in season, the 400 IM, that is hard to yeah. do. But yeah. I thought she looked so strong on that fly. She took out nice and easy. And then, I mean, again, talk about a commanding lead. Yes. Ella's really in kind of the league of her own right now in this race. I think the 400 IM is a little bit more of an open event, if you it will. Is. I mean, it is. In the US, it's hard to even say that because we're so strong. Right. But a 437-1, I, I got the chills. And, and I have a personal relationship with Ella, too, that goes back pretty, pretty far. I've known her since she was pretty young. So mm -hmm. just happy for her, happy that she's got to see that time on the board. And again, it goes back to having that confidence, which is just so important. You can physically be ready, but you have to be mentally ready. And right. sometimes when you have these setbacks, it's you, you, you're ready physically, but it's the mental side that really takes so long for you to get back. So it's kind of interesting that we both have these athletes that we think, you know, have really needed this meet for their mind yeah. to get them ready for the summer and next. And it's perfect timing because they have plenty of time to get back up, do some hard training exactly. before their next taper. Exactly. If this were next month in Clovis, it'd be cutting it a little close. Right. But they've got plenty of time. They can go back, analyze, because they are. I mean, swimmers know. Right. You analyze every little bit and say, what didn't go right? What went right? What didn't go right? And then work on all of those details. Right. And speaking of a lot of things going right, can we just shout out Reagan Smith? Oh, yes. my goodness. 50, 100, 200 back. Champ, 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 champ. Fast, yeah. fast, fast, fast. And then, she, like, today she's having, like, three events. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when you're 17. I remember those days. Yeah. But, no, nothing against <laughs> Nothing short. Yeah. That was incredible. I'm really impressed by her. Um, she seems very poised, very mature for her age, very down to business. Mm -hmm. 17, correct? Yes. 17 years old. Um, we can't not give her a shout-out because she is on fire right now. She really is and I, I am really excited for what she could do at World Championships. Yes. She only has the 200 backstroke. So, oh, interesting. Yeah, so okay. she doesn't have that 100 back. I don't know if they're going to, 
you know, sometimes they have that opportunity to do like a time trial at the, the yep. training camp. I don't know if she's going to kind of do yeah. that, but I don't know if that would make it an official time or not. But um, I'm really, I really think that Turner backstroke in yeah. Guangzhou this summer for Reagan is going to yeah. be really incredible. Look out for her most <laughs> definitely. I think 2020 she could be our little star. Yes, yes. So, but again, racing is just about finished up here in Bloomington. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's going to be packing up, as I said. They're going to be jetting off their hotels or houses to go see Game of Thrones. And then they're going to be looking ahead to see what's next on the calendar. And it's not very far away, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Two weeks from now, we've got the FINA Champion Series oh, yeah. just down the road in Indianapolis at the famed IU Natatorium. If you want to get tickets to see people like Lily King, Ryan Murphy, Michael Andrew, you want to go to usaswimming.org and get those, I promise you, you're going to have a lot of fun. The <laughs> USA Swimming is promising they're going to put on an event like no other. And Indy such a great, great city. They embrace yeah. the sports. It's going to be electric. Yeah, and it's going to be, I think, just right after the Indy 500. So Perfect. they're going to be buzzing from that, and they're just going to want to bring swimming into that. And it's going to, it's, I, I can't wait to, to <laughs> see so what it's excited. going to be like. I'm so excited. I watched the, the, the stops in China and Budapest, and I really like what they yeah. did there. And the, cool. the four-person format for each, and it just makes it really exciting. So one do that. And then next month, We'll be in Clovis, we'll be back. the last stop of the Tier Pro <laughs> Swim Series, and then everybody's going to hunker down because they got their championship meets. We got World University Games, we got World Championships, we got Nationals, we so got Pan Am. Do it all Take in one breath. breath. <laughs> it's a lot of swimming, but it's so fun. I cannot wait because everybody's going to be trying to put everything out on the line and say, okay, this is what you've got to get ready for for Omaha because 2020 Coming. is going to go by very, very fast. Very fast. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Caitlin, it's been so great spending the oh, weekend with fun. you. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Everybody behind the camera crew and our producers, Peter Lasser, Nathan Lundy, you. Sierra Samuels, we thank you Sierra. so much. Thanks Colin, so much Matt, everybody, we love you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Peace.